Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's FM back with another fucking awesome requested video for you guys. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a map menu for Black Ops 1 multiplayer, not zombies, multiplayer. So, without further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get straight into the steps. And you know, let's get, let's just get fucking going. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's get straight into the details. So first things first, the comments, so or the request itself. So this video got requested by Vex Vex Memes Mudding. And I know it says here on the screenshot that you know one day ago, but that's not true. At the day that I took this screenshot, it was one day ago, but you know <sighs> It's uh, it took me a longer to figure out and do more research. So, anyways, um, so he said, "Hey, sharp, I love your content. Can you do a video of getting a mod menu on Black Swan multiplayer, not zombies, no jailbreak?" And he knows that it is possible with a 1.13 version. There's many videos uh, on it, but they never have the link or they just don't fully explain how to do it. It will be really nice. Thank you very much and I have subscribed. So first of all guys, thank you so much for first of all requesting this video and second of all the lovely comments within your comments. So I really do appreciate it and this is interesting. So I did a lot of research, a lot of digging uh, so that you guys don't need to do it. And it's going to be a straightforward step, a simple step. Uh, simple step by step uh, video so it's gonna be easy so all you need to have guys are two things first of all you need this which I will link in the description box below and of course red eyes save game editor uh, I will link everything you need in the description uh, box down below so don't worry about it anyway so what you need to do is have a USB and you copy your save game from uh, your PS3 into the USB all right so I should have a ps3 folder somewhere here uh, fuck me so I don't have a ps3 folder uh, and I can't really use a USB right now so I hope that I have something in here hey yes I do okay nice so I'm just gonna drag and drop it here fuck uh, copy there we go so open your red eyes save game editor oh, whoops yes all right now locate your USB uh, open folder and your USB should be somewhere here but because I don't have a USB it's on my desktop like the folder so it should be down here ps3 and then bless whatever um, it, it wow it should say ps3 save data and then Bless whatever but okay this will work so open your uh, save game there you go go to game settings now make sure that MP CM SP are all cleaned so uh, sharp how you do that easy just go in this section right hit control a to select all backspace go file save asset go into CM Click in this uh, section here, Control A to select all, backspace, file, save asset. Now the reason for me to say Control uh, A and stuff is because you can't right click in this program. So Control A to select everything, backspace, uh, but we're not done. For MP, you need the, this code over here. Um, so first things first actually, drag this BO folder, so when you open this up, right? drag this into your black ops uh, into your usb so the root of your usb drag that in there and then um bah, 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 this one you need this code copy that by selecting it and then control c go into your red eye mp control v and then file save asset and then file save all boom that's it you're pretty much fucking done so guys um, you are pretty much done so let's double check let's call this folder 
USB, right? So let's say that this is my USB and PS3 is in there. What you need to do is if you open up download, all you need to do guys is just if this is your USB, drag this PO into the roots of your USB. So it should look like this. BO and then PS3, save data and then bless whatever. That's it. That's how easy it is. And of course you need to edit your thingy by copying this. Alright? Just copy that, paste it into your MC section and you're done. That's how easy it is. But there's one more step that we need to do. Actually a couple things, like two more steps. That is copying the save game data and deleting the uh, Black Ops 1 data. Uh, otherwise, it will not work. So, let's get straight into the PS3 um, section and I will catch you guys really soon. So, what we need to do is before we copy our save game data, guys, I'm, I am afraid that we need to be offline by deleting the Black Ops 1. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Delete. I am very, very, very sorry, but yeah, we need to do what we gotta do. Delete in Black Ops 1. There we go. Now let's delete it. Well, we should, uh, we should be able to use the mod now. Copy that. Okay, and then launch the game and when it's gonna ask like do you want to you need to update just press no just say no to want to no want to you fucking bitch uh no uh, um, okay uh it doesn't cancel there we go spam circle <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say spam circle reading hdd there we go Start. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go to options, put that on six, aim assist disable, uh, subtitles, oh shit, yeah. Okay, go to multiplayer. Now we should, I'm pretty sure we should get like a um, pop up message saying, like, hey, thanks for using this map menu, whatever. Uh, meet by this guy, this guy, this guy. So get ready for credits. Sometime soon. Or not. Lamparte. Create a match. I'm gonna do nuke down. Start. Okay, this time it should work. Otherwise, I deleted the fucking thing for nothing. Uh, but I was gonna delete it anyway because for an upcoming video. Check that one. Oh, there we go. Hey! So. Credits goes goes to G4 Gaming Edition because he was the one who created this fucking menu, which was a fucking pain in the ass to actually figure it out. So uh, you could be more, you could inform us more, but still. So mod menu, no jailbreak, sharp, uh, yeah, sharp, no jailbreak, no bullshit, mod menu. Um, so let's just do that. Okay, so the menu is charge. There we go. Hey, so deep ed up brings up the mod menu. So, what do we have? Uh, host menu, pro mod. There we go. Wall hack, FPS, fast restart, big XP, retour, uh, mon PS. Oh, I was gonna say that what? Retour, a uh, game setting. Speed hack, there we go, color hack, don't see that, gravity hack, gravity object, big XP, retour, uh, no mods, no, no, no FPS, okay, you know what, retour, what is this, credits and menus, you know, let's put some credits up, um, what's this?
Okay, I don't know what the fuck I did. Uh, map menu. You can change. Wow. Let's retour. Put on FPS. Dude, look at this. Player mod menu version 2.0, la menu escarme or whatever. YouTube.com slash G4 Gaming Edition. So, uh, obviously, I don't have uh, thingies, but you can see I have low gravity on, so let me show it to you. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, as you can see, I have low gravity on. So I die here. Oh, because I, I think there's a death barrier. And there should be a. Uh, anyway. So deep it up, brings up the menu. Pro mod. Ball hack, FPS. Okay, not that much, but still, it's fucking great. And it is possible, so. All right, so yeah, like I said, not that much, but because it's it is possible, like I said. So, dude, I do really appreciate for you know you that you actually uh, requested this video, but yeah, because it's patched stuff, you can't really do that much. However, it is possible. So here you go, it is possible, and I died. That's always great. So, dude, uh, that concludes the video for today. There are more modding tutorials coming up real soon, like menus and stuff like that. So, if you're into that, stick here for a little bit longer. Maybe if you didn't subscribe already, go ahead and subscribe. I don't just do modding tutorials, uh, but as noticed, uh, I do take suggestions or requests very seriously. So, whenever you guys request videos, I will do my fucking best to actually make a video happen. Now this one took a while because, you know, I was busy in my personal life, but I did more digging for this actually, uh, get, get it, get, getting this to work. So, unfortunately, you do need to delete your um, game data, uh, so, which is a bummer, but what do you expect? Like, well, but still, it is possible, it is fun if you play with friends on LAN parties or split screens and stuff. But other than that, I don't really recommend uh, installing this because, let's be serious now, it's not worth it. It's not worth to delete everything and uh, including the DLCs and stuff. So now my DLCs are gone, like literally fucking gone. So, but yeah, here you go. This is the proof. It is possible. Thank you for requesting this video and I will upload another video for a mod tool thingies like not my tool things but modded stuff coming up real soon and um yeah thanks for watching peace hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this awesome video and i quickly want to let you know before you go click on the left video where it says previous that will bring you to my previous funny moments video and if you click on the right that will take you to the latest requested video if you did enjoy the content go ahead and smack that like button comment down below if you have a request or anything else with that said i'll get you on the next one peace